This is the home of France's oldest industrial family, the Vieillards. These masters of metal have been producing steel since 1796. But their story actually began during the reign of Louis XIV, when a certain Nicolas Vieillard took over a foundry in the foothills of the Vosges Mountains. In the 19th century, the company started producing steel wire, and in the 20th, it made its fortune from making fishing hooks. Hello, Christophe. How are you? I'm happy to see you. Is everything OK? Is your father doing well? Very well. He must be enjoying his retirement now. Hello. Hello, how are you? Oh, just like an old man. Christophe Vieillard ran the VMC company for 40 years, and he's always tried to make it one big happy family. This workshop is called The Hive. She has the prettiest hands in the whole company. He's a really extraordinary boss. He's friendly and very family orientated. You can tell he just really likes people. The Vieillards have always been keen to create a hook factory that truly represents them as a family. All the corridors of the factory have to be kept clean. The most important thing here is that you feel at home. There are several families that have worked here for one, two, three, even four generations. So that really shows that the local population is loyal to us, and that loyalty really shows. The family also stands by its business model. They've been churning out the same quality of hook for some 200 years now. This is how we check the hooks. It breaks, but at 170 degrees. So the hook will stand the weight of a fish without breaking. They're just like springs, in fact. It's levels of quality like this which have rocketed VMC to be the world's number one hook manufacturer. It's a sense of pride that's felt right across the factory floor. Since almost the beginnings of humanity, mankind has lived or survived thanks to the help of a hook. Our business is unique because we make a product which is so unique and so special that it helps feed two-thirds of humanity. This manor house belonged to one of the family's ancestors, Juvenal Vieillard. Please, come on through. Today it's been turned into a private museum which looks at the history of this illustrious family through the centuries. You have the first company which was set up in 1796, and here you can see the eight generations that followed. Emmanuel is Christophe's nephew. The reins of the business are now in his hands. He has to make sure that a family pact, written by his ancestor Juvenal 138 years ago, is kept alive. This is the family motto, stay united. He wrote this pact in order to make sure that what he had created has longevity in asking us to try and develop and carry on his work so that we can make the next link in the chain. It's a testimony which is so well written and so powerful that it still rings true today. There are ponds and this is the deer park. Emmanuel's father, Michel, is giving us a tour of the family's park, a huge collection of homes and woodland. The house that's at the back there is the former home of Juvenal. It dates from around 1830. And this is the house of my parents, of André Vieillard. Then when I arrived, there was no house available, so I decided to build one. Of the 1,500 descendants of the company's founder, almost 150 still play an active role in the business. The family has also left its mark on the daily lives of its employees. Everything was done to help the workers. We looked after their housing, their children in school. There was a central bakery. It was a paternalistic system of the era. And do you own this whole region? No, no. Not the whole region, but half of Grandvilla, yes. The family has over 11,000 names on its payroll around the world, and the company produces more than just hooks now. Lisi has become a European leader in steel fixings for the automobile and aeronautic industries. 
Boeing, Rolls-Royce and BMW have all bought into this excellence. Cyril and Emmanuel are cousins, and together they work to try and expand the company's horizons. For the global launch, the stock is already in place in Minneapolis, here in Bologna and in Moscow. We've now reached a level which is totally unique. Often you have the founder of the business, then another generation develops it, a third reaps the profits, and the fourth sees it close down. We're already far away from that cycle. In another sign of just how strong the name Viela is, the family now belongs to the Enochien, an association which represents companies run by the same dynasty for over 200 years.